I'm always happy to be here, Yana. Great. So, what's your first uh, deepest uh, impression when you uh, come to Wuhan this uh, Wuhan this time around? And uh, could you introduce your own company, Veil Fabric, to our Wuhan people? Yeah. It's quite hard because it's so much impressions, but what I'm really impressed of was your electric scooter. That your government decides now is electric and then everybody has to do this is the right way and this is something I really appreciate and good to see and a good chance against the, against the smog. Um, something to the company, mm, we are a team of engineers from Germany developing environmental solutions for the biggest challenges we can do something against like uh, pollution, waste, uh, too much, too much consumption of meat. This is something we think about as a team and as a think tank and find solution for that. Mm -hmm. You want to find some of the solution for the environment uh, during when you do the development of the project. So during the summit, I saw that. Firstly, congratulations that you have such a great cooperation with the INU and the hand companies in Wuhan. So why do you choose to cooperate with the INU and the hand company? Um, it was a little coincidence first, uh, because one of the engineers here studied in my hometown Dresden, and so we meet each other and uh, came into a little chat. And two years later on, I sat here, meet all the people in INU and we found the perfect solution together with um, the investment company. It fits very well and uh, we have the feeling to have the perfect cooperation in the center of China and expand from here to the other provinces. And it's one of the most educated and um, interesting institutes I've ever seen. So besides those the reason, what do you expect in the Wuhan marketing or the Wuhan's environment future? Because when the first question I mentioned was the most biggest impression to Wuhan, you mentioned the smoke, so the environment. So what's your think about the Wuhan environment? In my opinion, Wuhan is in a way the new China. What you can see here is the change and the positive change. And this is something I really appreciate. Uh, because it fits so well to what we think and feel and do and especially the INU is the perfect platform to enroll technologies like that. This is the reason. So this is the reason that you want to cooperate with them and that you try to solve the environment problem that uh, we meet together. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we know as the the green development become the international concept right now. More and more countries and companies try to solve this kind of problem right now. But we also know that it's very difficult yeah. to give a solution. So I, I believe that at the beginning you have to meet a, a lot of the difficulties to question the group. Oh, so yes. why you and your group choose this uh, area to figure out? Um, to be serious, if I would know how hard it would be, I never would start it. Okay. Um, it's seven years since today that we had the idea to turn grass into plastic and from, and from there we expand more and more ideas. Um, today we can uh, offer several solutions for several problems, certain problems, and we concentrate strongly, especially with you here in China, on the waste to energy problem because this is, uh, this is one of our biggest as a society. And so we concentrate on oil to energy and plastic to energy. And this is what we, what we want to do together here. And with the perfect soil to grow, we, we believe strongly. How long? I mean, how many years you have been It has been seven, meanwhile, seven. Seven years is a long time for doing the one job. It's a long time, it's a lot of money, it's, it's a, a lot of grey hairs, and, uh, but at the end, I think it was worth it. What make you believe so strongly to pro push this project? 
good question. Um, maybe it's a kind of naivety in first. Afterwards, it was a strong belief in the theory of turning plastic and oil back into something useful. And then, any time, you have a point of no return. <laughs> and this helps you very well. So, yeah, because I know that uh, what's to make you want to do that, so could you just explain or tell the Wuhan people that what's the project, I mean the wasted oil project, and what's your further plan yeah. in the future? Um, let me explain maybe like this. Uh, Everybody knows the plastic problem meanwhile. Everybody knows the oceans are full of plastic and it's a huge problem everywhere in the world. But nobody faces the used oil problem because it's invisible. And what we did was, beside of the engineering of our plastic machine, uh, develop a solution for the used oil too. And <laughs> it's funny, but this was, this one was quicker ready to deliver than the original plastic one and so we are on the market meanwhile with the used oil machine and coming later on with the plastic one. Um, what it is doing? Currently the used oil gets collected in the best case. Mm, in some countries we are not sure if it's really get connected or if it goes to the rivers and to the soil and environment. Um, and then, if it's collected, it has to go miles and miles and miles to central refineries like crude oil refineries. And what we thought about was, what if we can build a small, cheap and highly profitable plant that is located at the place where the waste gets produced. And this was the idea two years ago. And then we made it uh, and it works very well. Uh, in Germany, what we are uh, really, really successful with those systems, and now we are really happy to start up here in China, especially with you both. So, what's the biggest problem you met during the project? Give me some of the basic examples. Uh, you mean the whole company setup? I mean the project. The, the oil? The, the oil. Oh, what was the hardest? Yeah. Um, to find the right um, ratio between price, collecting oil payments and market ability of the product. And this triangle needs to fit for each party to make profit. Because if anything doesn't make profit, it wouldn't be have a multiple in thousands and thousands planted because we want to change anything. And you can only change anything if you do a lot of plans out. And this was the hardest thing to figure out what is the right ratio between those three questions. Maybe this. Otherwise, a lot of engineering problems and so on. But yeah, now we are happy to have solved it all. I know that uh, you, you change a lot because of the project I heard from my husband. Henry, I mean in Hong Kong, Henry. Henry? <laughs> is that correct? Yeah. Henry said that uh, you sell your Porsche with the car or original one and uh, choose the other, the safe energy's car because you doing the project and you want to let uh, the people know that how to protect our earth and the environment pollution is so important. The question we have to meet together. So, is that the project change you or you always believe that? Good question. Um, actually, if you don't have it inside, really, then you won't get it so far. It must be deep in your heart to go as far as we did. Um, otherwise, I like sports cars really much, and uh, yeah, and the best uh, fit between both worlds is a Tesla. And now it's. <laughs> Now it's cool again and we can charge it with our own uh, climate neutralized uh, energy and so everybody's happy. So you believe that it's a trend that everyone will use the Tesla such as the energy car in the future? 
I hope so. And I can see my daughter is 19 years old and I can see a lot of changes in the mind of the young people. Uh, they don't think about that much as a status symbol, as a car or something. They, they have different ideas to change the environment, to change, uh, to change social problems. And I strongly believe that the humanity as itself is positive. Not all of them, but uh, uh, the majority. And what I see in details when I work with universities like this and uh, NGOs, uh, in several countries we work, um, there happens something and there happens a lot and the people want to change something but we need to do it from the bottom. If we as the people don't say do something against the used oil problem in the world because it's much bigger than the plastic problem, if we don't say that the politicians won't do anything. They only act if we um, push them to do, and I strongly believe that the people will do that. Twenty times the people will come and will say, okay, now I don't have to, um, to save the world as a secondary uh, uh, topic. No, it's a business, and this is what we need to do, and I'm pretty sure, like we saw today here in this round, um, the people want to do that. They are searching for opportunities like that, even if they want to earn money. Right. right? So last but not least, my question is, so what will you expect in the future in the Wuhan marketing, or how the corporation will go further in the future? Uh, I'm really, really, really curious. Um, and I'm, I don't allow myself to give any expectation. What I see so far is that we probably underestimate what, hap what will happen here. If I see only those few customers we told so far, there is so much, there are so much opportunities here, so much um, I can't expect. That I would, would like to ask me this question again one year in the future. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oliver. Thank you. Come um, and uh, hope you can meet us many times. Yeah, I will. My pleasure.